This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to take a look at Android running on a tablet. But, aha, on a Windows 7 tablet. This is the Samsung Series 7 Slate. This is a Windows 7 tablet, probably the best one on the market right now, in fact. And we're going to test out the easiest way to do this so far, which is an application called BlueStacks. Now, this is alpha software. The alpha period is closed. They're going to be opening up a beta in March. So if you want to check out BlueStacks.com and sign up for it after you've seen this, you can go ahead and do that. There are also more challenging ways to do it. You can install something like VirtualBox, which is made by Sun, now owned by Oracle. That's a free virtual machine setup that you can download for Windows, Mac OS, or even Linux, and you can choose to run Ice Cream Sandwich even on this. But that's a little bit less turnkey. In fact, it's a lot less. This handles all the hardware virtualization. That means when you're running BlueStacks, it uses the microphone, it uses the internet connection, it uses all the stuff from your Windows 7 tablet without you having to set up anything. To run it, you simply tap on it. And it's always running down the taskbar, and you can quit it and restart it if you need to. And as you can see, pretty unexciting screen here. I'm sure this is going to get jazzed up. You've got the Android menu key over here. You can do orientation sw swapping, and you can do enlargement for any app that's running. Now you tap here, and you can see the apps that are pre-installed. They pre-install a selection of apps, and you can add more using something called Cloud Connect. Put Cloud Connect on your Android phone or tablet, and then you can enter a PIN code. On this end, it's going to tell you what that PIN code is going to be. And then you can send applications over to here. Now, the trick is right now, the alpha version of this product, even a lot of free applications won't work. But BlueStack says that that's going to change with later versions of the software. But nonetheless, we did manage to install a few. But to get an idea of what it can do, they pre-installed some stuff like Pulse Newsreader, Awesome Newsreader, Words with Friends Free, Talking Tom, and Talking Tom is actually, well, besides the fact it's really exciting if you're five years old, it shows you that things like the microphone and touch work really well. So we're going to just take a look at that for a minute. And we're running a nice little gingerbread sized window here. So there's Tom, purring when I tap on him. And if I get close to him and talk, he can repeat back because he's going to hear through the microphone that's using the Windows 7 driver and through virtualization using Android. You're funny. Yeah, see? There you go. It works. If you're done with that, you just hit this and you can switch over to other applications. Now, there's no Android market on here because the rule for Google is that it has to be a Google-approved machine. Now, obviously, this isn't even... A machine. This is just software that you can put on any Windows PC. So there's no Android market, there's no YouTube player, there's no web browser. Now it's arguable that you would actually want YouTube or the web browser when you've got the full Windows 7 versions of those here. But there is another way. You can use the Amazon market. And I use the Cloud Connect to send Amazon App Store over. And I've got a bunch of apps installed. Now here it is, the Amazon App Store running full screen. I'm going to take a look at my apps. So Angry Birds, no, that didn't work to install. Again, they're going to be working on some more of that stuff. Well, let's pick something that I did install. IMDB. So there it is. So the, the Amazon App Store is actually a, a way around this problem right now for those of you who want to get BlueStacks. Now, even though they've closed the alpha, you can still find this for download on the web if you do a search. So go have at it. We take a look at the Pulse Newsreader. Now this is really interesting. You see how fast that loads? Now I run this on my ASUS ePad Transformer Prime, which is a quad-core Tegra 3, and it never loads this quickly over the same Wi-Fi network. Very responsive. So as, as an indication of things to come, as Android starts to show up on x86 machines, for example, wow, you're going to get some really good performance. And it'll be really interesting to see Windows 8 running BlueStacks, which will be possible. So you get the best of both worlds, and you get some really fast performance. Absolutely nice and quick. Switch pages. It's all very fast. It's a pretty peppy performance here. Then we've got a couple of other apps. We've got a drag racing game installed here that they pre install. Now, just saying, right now we have a whole lot of apps also running inside of our virtual Android, and it's still running pretty smoothly.
And it runs just fine. Didn't win the race, but runs nicely. And we've got the back button here, and anytime you just want to close this down, it actually is still running a little VM down the system tray, but you can just make it go away that quickly, and then you can just tap it to bring it back. And here in our system tray, you can see it's got a little icon. Press and hold on that. And you can see it can restart BlueStacks, send zip logs if you need to, to tell them any troubles you're having, and you can quit entirely. It's very lightweight, it doesn't take up much space, it's about 122 megs, so it's pretty nice. So for those of you who aren't into something like installing, installing VirtualBox and then finding virtual machines of Android images, this is very promising, and again, this shows us what can happen in the future with Android running on x86 CPUs. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Don't forget to watch our video review of the Samsung Series 7 Slate and visit our website to read the full review.